is on the night before. Star Billy Bogey, it's a golfing jam. Shooting the breeze on the 19th hole. Lovers of the game. That's what I am. Shooting the breeze on the 19th hole. Make you love it too. That's my goal. Shooting the breeze on the 19th hole. Shooting the breeze on the 19th hole. Well, hello, fellow divot makers and hack whackers. We're coming to you all from the most special place at the Gabriola Golf Course. And we have the manager, Chris, here, my new best friend. How are you doing, buddy? <laughs> I'm doing well. Yeah. Pleasure to have you guys here for your birthday. It was a blast hosting you guys here. Got the weather to cooperate a bit with us. And I'm sure the putts were falling here for you guys. Well, a couple of them fell. Well, that's, couple what, of that's, them. What, that's what we're gonna come out for, right? Well, a couple of, a couple of our balls fell off the planet i think ponds and trees hey, we don't we don't talk about those those don't no. happen but you time. know tell us about your facility well it's a it's a pretty unique course out here like it's it was founded in 1978 off local so we're so we are actually a non-profit organization as the golf course here and it's oh. it's membership owned right so this course was originally owned by clyde coates this whole land here and it was all done by volunteer basis and the, all the land like that you see for the fairways and everything got cleared off by volunteers and off, I think it was like a $55,000 investment. It was bare minimum investment yeah. and it was a very community ran and uplifted course to get developed here. So it's kind of unique that you see our clubhouse here. These are actually all the logs that were taken off the land originally and we, they got repurposed really cool. into this, this clubhouse. So all the, the whole building here, what you see is all f that used to be out there before on day one. So this, it's a 40 year old building now. We were founded, I believe in 1978. And yeah, like the volunteers help out everywhere. It's like, it's a very unique course where it's, it's such a it's, community based aspect here. Yeah. And the community really come together. Like when we we, we've been golfing here the last two days and we've met some of the locals and you know being new to the golf course we were a little confused on which tee to go to and they were incredibly helpful as a matter of fact we might still be out there if, it was, <laughs> if they hadn't helped us and that's what makes this facility so great isn't it yeah it's it, the community it, aspect it, it, of it's it. so special because like there's there i don't have customers i have close friends now right like my nice. members my members are a second family here and it is such a tight-knit club it is so unique where if I have groceries to bring in or a beer order coming in, like I have, I can guarantee you one of my boys are going to be coming in and helping me load it up. And, and wherever, wow, wherever they, is it that? is so cool. The volunteers around here are phenomenal. And it's like it, the amount of people, whether they're golf related to the course as a member or people that just love coming here to have a beer or a bite to eat, like the volunteers and the help and support we get from the community is truly phenomenal. By the, by the way, speaking of a bite to eat, the food here is unreal. Oh, we yeah, ate here yeah, last yeah. night and you are out flipping burgers for us. And by the way, those burgers were oh, awesome. Much appreciated. They, you know, we're trying to do all the little things right and make yeah. sure that like the big things will follow after you like do try to do all those little things right. And like this like this past year we switched switched our beef products and all our all our meat that we use here are actually locally sourced here off the island too oh nice so like the beef burgers the boys ate last night were grown on gabriola harvested on gabriola and you know served right on gabriola so it's it's pretty special that we're just our menu products and the, the beer we serve is from ladner bc try to you know yeah. try to stay in bc and local it's and we get f phenomenal support for for re recognizing the keep things local well it, it 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 is an incredibly special place you know and what? i finally figured out the golf course today you know every new golf course is 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 a bit of a challenge right you're trying to figure out the speed of the greens you know the slopes and all that and i finally got it figured out our buddy clark here i told you about his special news we found out he won the regional qualifying for the lower mainland for special olympics and wow. he's now in the selection pool to go to uh, the world games in germany in berlin next year no kidding and he's taking me along with him i'm his coach i i just want to like thank this golf course like this is a different and unique course and i love it it's 
You know my favorite it, it's part a about confusing because on on two I thought we were going that way and then all of a sudden it's that way. <laughs> Golf is a very confusing game, yeah, but it, yeah. it, 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 keep, it keeps us humble, right? It, it, it's, it's you know my favorite part about the golf course. It's incredibly scenic. Like there isn't a hole here where you're not looking at beautiful scenery. You're not looking at nature, and to me, that is the great thing about golf. You know, and enjoy the beauty that nature has to offer. And I'll tell you what. Nature is incre- well, incredibly it's, on. It's it's pretty cool depending on, on where if you'll you pardon go. the expression on par here. Hey, well we we try to do what to try to make use of the land we have. Like I mean, it's pretty cool that you'll see the bald eagles around, like all the baby fawn. Like there's a ton of things going on here. So like what's it's, what's what's that hole where the deer hang around? Oh, the um, love that little lump up they're there. Always, they're, they're always, they're always, it's funny, you'll see those those little fawns get born here and they live, they're here all year round. My producer, Seymour Shanks, almost hit one of them, a little to the right, didn't even flinch. No, and, uh, you know what, like the, the members will all bring their apples from the, the fall on the ground at their own orchards on the island and feed them by hand, like they are nice. the least timid deer you'll ever see. Are this, there this bears out here? Well, it's funny, like you'll see one elk or one bear swim over from Mudge Island from the, from the main island once in a while, but they'll, sw- I think we had a bear here for a few weeks and it swam back away. Like it's, they yeah. come and go, but not often. It's well, last, last night, uh, uh, Clarkie and, and Seymour were going to go look for Sasquatch. I heard Sasquatch is here. <laughs> well, it depends where you look and who you hear from. You never know. I well, mean, you know what Seymour said? Sasquatch sleeping on the couch in the living room. He, I think he was referring to me. Oof. Oof. <laughs> what, what about cougars? Are there any cougars? No, there? no, no. There's there's no natural predators out here for any of the deer. That's why you see so many of them, right? Like, Oh, that's a good point. Like, the, those deers have literally no predators other than the cars on the road. Tell us about the the food and beverage end of it, the restaurant, because yeah, as I say, sure. the food here is awesome. Well, you know, it's we don't, it's it's a very like homey situation for a kitchen. Like we don't have a deep fryer, and it's not like a commercially originally commercially built kitchen. It used to be always like you know supplying the sandwiches for the turn and the hot yeah. dogs, and you know supplying tournament food. But I come from a restaurant background, moving from West Kelowna there, so I yeah. kind of implemented what my past history and restaurant experience to what I think that. The golfers here would kind of want to see right like i'm no genius by any means but like I mean, you give the people what they want you want the hot dogs at the turn you want a good bite to eat some nachos some burgers whatever simple food but don't overcomplicate things right i mean you keep do do a few things but do it perfect right like do do them well you know what that makes so much sense instead of having an eight page menu why don't have a three-page menu and have everything on it? Well, and that's the thing. Keep Quality. it keep keep it simple and do it well, right? And yeah. we, it's it's pretty cool. Like the the bar, like I have my main sponsor is Barnside Beer. Like I've been dealing with them. Uh, Glen Trebek is what my main beer rep for him for mm. Barnside, and the, the donations and the support I get from them and making my life easy. You know, doing having supplying glasses and like the little stuff behind the scenes that you don't see out of I main a lot of companies and whatnot. Yeah. But having them out of Ladner, BC, like you know, I, just giving the people what they want. When you say giving people what they want, obviously you you're listening to your customers. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Like you know, it's if one of my members say like, "Hey, could you bring in this beer?" Like I I'm, I'll know I'll see him every week a few times a week, and this is what he drinks. Like you better believe the next day I'll be at the liquor store stocking what my boys well, want to drink. Well, that's good. Like, you know, like it's you have to listen to the people to give them what they want. I want to make sure my boys have have their beers to drink and then my ladies have the the wine they want, you know, like making your customers happy. Exactly, that's what it's all about. Well, what, what's your signature dish? Oh, yeah. my signature oh, dish. Question. Well, it's it's tough to say, you know, on a, on an everyday basis here. I'm island known for for my nachos and my hot dog. Nothing like a pork missile in a beer. So, you've talked about your your food and beverage and you've you've got quite the building here and you mentioned it was built by all the logs from the actual golf course do you do you have live entertainment yeah so that's kind of a new aspect since my tenure of being at the golf course that we kind of started taking on it was always kind of like celebrations of life weddings and like you know company parties here but we've kind of implemented i have a great team and support behind me at the golf course here yeah. to where we're, we're bringing in a lot of local talent like we've had our, we have a, our next concert is brandon isaac on september 10th like he's well known he's won some blues prizes and he's playing in here and he's playing right inside the club brandon like, isaac like we had a big event called concert on the green this year that sold about 2500 tickets 
and we had community support donations you name it and that's all nice. that was all done up on the on the green there and we get like it's you know well, we fill the place you know we, we have a concert here i try to keep it every couple of weeks to keep you know it, it's a small island and you want to keep the people busy and yeah give, give them something to do right so i mean i've been fortunate that the support i get for holding these concerts have always gotten good turnover like we have couple concerts a month i have a comedy show coming up in september oh, here so, so you really do promote a lot of live entertainment oh yeah like awesome. you know you know it's 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 a community service we like to kind of, kind of provide and it's it gets great feedback and it's and it's good music it's good entertainment and it's you know it's it's a good vibe and, and, that's, and your clientele and your customers enjoy that yeah. absolutely and you know it's we're for it's not just golf tra golf related people anyway yeah. it's not there's not just members but like it's a lot of you know just the locals around gabriel have taken advantage of having live entertainment and some great talent here too like it's nice like we've had guys like ryan mcmahon brandon isaac david gogo he, he's a blues guy like you know he, he, he david gogo guitar. yeah we opened for him no kidding yeah like we sidetracked billy bogey opened for april wine no kidding yeah no kidding but yeah we've with, had with this clown really yeah <laughs> But you know, yeah. what, you know what he got. He never golfs. He only golfs on my birthday, once a year. Yeah, He's got the ugliest golf it. clubs you've ever seen in your life, and you see the golf ball. I hate him. Hey, <laughs> I some, love sometimes him. Sometimes I love him, natural, but I hate him. You got the natural stroke for it, right? Like yeah. it's it's funny. It's the, the the course here and the members have some character. Like, I mean, you'll one of our better golfers, Jake. Like. Quirky dude, but like biggest heart on the guy, and you'll see him come after work golfing in steel toe boots, and then go and shoot plus two, <laughs> like on the day. Like it's, it's, it's I incredible. Like so guys I mean, like, like that. you know, like we're all hacks at the end of the day, but you know, we try to look good doing it, and you yeah. know, have a couple pints doing it, and you know, enjoying the company and seeing where you're at, right? Yeah. Like, that's why we. That's why we're here. And and I want to talk about your staff, and I I I believe your staff is a reflection on you, because I've. I've been in the golf business for over 40 years, and I have never seen a golf facility that had more friendly, accommodating, and just welcoming staff than you do. And that, like I said, that's a reflection. I, I, so really, I, I really do appreciate that. You know, like, you I mean, it's a very team environment here. And, you know, I'm, it's, it's funny because this might be one of the few golf courses in the world that the staff aren't golfers, you know? Like, I'm yeah. one of the few golfers out that work here. And, you know, my, my staff is, I mean, they're not staff, you know. They're they're, they're my team. Yeah. Like they, I'm, they support me and yeah. I support them, and you know we, we make, we make of it which, work. Tell me about your golf game. Oh, we have good days and bad <laughs> days, like all the boys. Right? Every swing but, is a new adventure. Ah, uh, you know we're getting some more <laughs> consistency to the game, but you know we just did have to buy a new putter because the other one couldn't putt anymore, so we oh, bought a new. So putter. you gave it a timeout. Oh well, no, I uh, <laughs> uh, that that girl just got retired. We bought a new putter, and oh, okay. she was sold the day the new putter got in. But you know, yeah. I, I have good days and bad days. I've well, that's I can golf, I can right? shoot a plus I, one and I can shoot a plus twelve. You know, like it's uh, I'm all over the oh, place. Oh, so you're but, capable of plus one. You know, I'm a good fundamental golfer, but it's all about what's going on in the kitchen. You know, right? the, so the, it's, the hardest distance on any golf course is a six inches between your ears. Well, and, that, and you're not <laughs> wrong there. I mean, you put I I can get twenty yards within the green, no problem, perfect. Yeah. But once we're on that green, it's a different ball game. Well, right? so, you what's your what? putter's name? I name everything. <laughs> oh, wow. What are you gonna name? Which, which one? Excuse the profanity, <laughs> but it's probably that bitch lately. But, like, you know, <laughs> but <laughs> to be honest, but, uh, oh, I, I, I don't name the things I, I despise sometimes. So that's good. I like uh, that. I, like I, that. I, I always name my old putters after my ex-wives. Oof, I got three of them. Well, well, I'll, I'll, I'll leave that there. I'll, I'll, I'll let you go on from there. <laughs> Chris, again, hey. I want to thank you for, for everything you've done for us and just, you know, making a very special weekend. Absolutely. So you know, it, it was much ab more special. It was absolutely my pleasure. You know, when the boys hey. are back on Gabriel, I'd be, I'd be choked if the boys didn't come and visit me. We'll be back like a reoccurring nightmare. Hey, perfect. We love those. <laughs> I don't want to call this a well-kept secret, but... Oh, I'm telling you, more people need to know about this place. How, how do you how do you promote your golf course? Are you on social media? Yeah, we, so you can see us on Instagram and Facebook at Gabriel Golf Club. Um, you can see our website for any inquiries and you know pictures of what's going on, the events that we're hosting, and everything's on the calendar there on GabrielGolf.com. And you know we're just a Google search away and a, and a boat away for the people on the mainland, right? Like it's. Yeah. It's a hidden gem out here, and I it's every I can't say I've heard anybody that hadn't had a good time out here. 
you know, it's a pretty, it's a pretty fun atmosphere, and it's a great, it's a great challenging course to be. Well, I think you of. hit the key word, and that is gem, because yeah. it really is a gem. Hey, thank, thank you, my friend. Absolutely, my pleasure. Okay. Shooting the breeze on the ninth deep hole. Star Billy Bogey, it's a golfing jam. Shooting the breeze on the ninth deep hole. Lovers of the game. That's what I am. Shooting the breeze on the ninth deep hole. And you love it too. That's my goal. Shooting the breeze on the 19th hole. Shooting the breeze on the 19th hole.